Hey guys and welcome back to this segment on our channel called Answering Your Most Googled Medical Questions by Heart Gastro and today's video is a super interesting one. So let's get started. So in today's video we'll explore the question, what do you need to know about a toxicology or a tox screen test? So a toxicology test, also commonly known as a tox screen, checks for specific drugs or other chemicals in your blood, urine or saliva. Drugs can be swallowed, inhaled, injected or absorbed through the skin or a mucous membrane. In rare cases, a tox screen may even be used to check your sweat or even your stomach contents, which can be obtained through a process called a gastric lavage or stomach pumping, or even after vomiting. A tox screen test may be used to check for one certain drug or for up to 30 different drugs at once. These may include prescription medicines, non-prescription medicines such as aspirin, natural health products, alcohol, and illegal drugs such as cocaine and heroin. This test is often done in emergency medical situations, but can also be used to evaluate possible accidental or intentional overdose or poisoning. Additionally, it can help determine the cause of an acute drug toxicity, monitor drug dependency, and to determine the presence of substances in the body for medical or legal purposes. Substances that may be detected on a toxicology screen include alcohol, which is medically known as ethanol, which is actually the drinking alcohol, amphetamines, antidepressants, barbiturates and hypnotics, benzodiazepines, cocaine, flunitrazepam, gamma-hydroxybutyrate, marijuana, narcotics, non-narcotic pain medications, fencyclidine, phenothiazines, and prescription medications of any type. So no special preparation is required for a toxicology screen. Most of the time, a sample of your blood or urine will be tested. Blood is usually drawn from a vein in your arm, or you'll be asked to pee in a cup for a urine sample. Sometimes sweat, a strand of hair, or saliva from your mouth is used instead of blood or urine. And in extreme cases, other bodily fluids can be checked as well. If your stomach is pumped at the hospital, a sample of your stomach contents may be tested in addition to the others. Most tox screen tests are qualitative tests, meaning they give a positive or negative result. This means that they only find out if the drugs are present in the body and not the exact level or quantity of the drug actually present. Follow-up quantitative testing is often done to find out the actual level of drugs in the body and to confirm the results of the first test. High values. So high values may be caused by a drug overdose. A drug overdose may be caused by one large dose of medicine or long-term overuse of a medicine. Interactions between medicines can also cause problems, especially when you start to take a new medicine. A high level may mean that you're not taking your medicine correctly or that your body is not used to processing the medicine as it should. Low values. Low values of prescription or over-the-counter medicines may mean that you're not taking your medicines correctly. So just as with the breath test, you can refuse to take a drug test. But if you don't take that test, which for example a law enforcement officer has ordered you to take, your driver's license can be suspended. An important side note is that the police department can actually force a drug test if there was an accident with serious bodily injury, which means they can literally strap you to the gurney and draw blood. But if you go into a hospital ER and they draw blood for medical reasons, you do have the right to privacy and nobody besides your treating doctor has access to these records. However, if you were suspected to commit a crime or an offence whilst under the influence of these drugs, the investigating officer can go into court and do a subpoena for those medical records. In court, they will have to show the nexus between the medical records and the criminal charge and if they are able to show that nexus, which means that connection between the medical records and the criminal charge, you will be found guilty on all counts. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you found the presentation very interesting and informative. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. And please make sure you turn on your bell notifications so you'll be notified every time we have a new upload. If you would like to help us make better videos and content, you can also donate to us via PayPal. 
Take care and thanks for joining me today as I explore the basics on the talk screen tests.